Much of the software we use today is written in C. Everything from the Linux kernel to microprocessor controllers. C was created by Dennis Ritchie in 1972. It was the successor to another language called B. B came from a language called BCPL, the Basic Combined Programming Language, which followed on from CPL, the Cambridge Programming Language. The syntax of C, with its curly braces and plus-plus increment operators, inspired many other languages, such as Java, C++, C Sharp, and, inevitably, D. C is often described as a low-level language. It compiles to machine code, that's the code that communicates directly with the hardware, unlike languages such as Java and C Sharp, which compile to an intermediate language or byte code. C uses curly brackets to mark the start and the end of a block of code like this. The main function defines the entry point to a program. Variable declarations like these integers and doubles are made by putting the type name, then the variable name, and a semicolon. C can include header files like this. A header file may contain definitions of functions and constants. C is not object-oriented, and it does not do garbage collection, so if you allocate a chunk of memory and forget to free up that memory later on, it can hang around causing a so-called memory leak. Memory leaks and other bugs are easy to create in C due to the fact that C uses pointers a great deal. A pointer is a variable that stores the address of some memory location where data can be placed. A pointer is indicated with an asterisk. Here, a pointer variable called P stores the address of the character G at the start of the array of the characters in the string goodbye. A pointer can also point to another pointer, and that's when things start to get tricky. Many other languages, such as C-sharp, Java, and Python, either don't use pointers at all or only do so in very special cases. So why is C still used so much? Well, because it's fast, efficient, and it's a great choice for low-level programs such as operating systems and hardware device drivers.